Quinty today, day four. Yesterday was a pretty good day. We've had seven fish, a little bit tougher fishing, lost a giant in the hole, and uh, the two prior days before that were absolute money. So we're back out today. I got a client to the right of me, Darian Savage and Zachary Salandino from Fishing OD. They are in the tent not far from me. They're doing a video for their YouTube channel, Fishing OD as well. Should be an awesome day. We got a little bit of cloud cover, sun later on, still high winds. Uh, at a milder day so with the amount of fish that we saw yesterday if any of those fish end up firing up especially some of those big ones we should be able to get some really good quality walleye topside bay quinty can produce some absolute giants and that is what we're here for we've had good numbers so far 36 fish in three days but now we want the big boys eight pounds and up 30 inch mark is really the goal and uh be always nice to beat a PB. I'm trying to beat my 13 and a half from last year. Jared only needs an eight pounder, so we're trying to get Jared's fish. We'd love to get an eight or 10 pounder for Jared, and uh, sun's already up, everybody's got the tent set up. It's time to get fishing. Stick with us, should be a great day. Nice one. Way to go, bud. All right, guys, first fish. We've been marking a few. Jared had this one fly up, and what did he eat on, Jared? On the jigging wrap. And destroyed it. Blue and green jigging wrap. Super nice fish. First eater of the day. Oh, let's yeah. get it. Let's get back down there. There's fish all over the place. Oh yeah. Big mark, dude. Oh my god, that's a big mark. No, come back. Come back. He was so hot, and then when I slowed down, he slowed down, and I should have just kept going with him. I thought he was gonna eat it on the slowdown, and never did. <sighs> should have just kept going. He was hot. I should have just kept bringing him up, kept bringing him up, 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 and then I stopped. Not a giant. You didn't even get. Did you get recorded? Yep. Not a giant, but I gotta figure out what's wrong with my GoPro because I can't get it on. On the jigging wrap. Jared got his fish on jigging wrap. I put jigging wrap on. We're not gonna keep that guy. I think it's gonna be a very good day. There's more fish down there already. I'm I'm bringing up a fish right now. I got him seven feet up already. Yeah, you gotta work them up. You'll catch a lot of fish like 15 feet down where like they chase it that far before they commit to it. But are you doing like aggressive uh, like keep away or like yeah. a subtle keep away? No, aggressive. I got one. I got one. Oh my god, monster. It's like a seven incher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna see you're gonna see 50, 60, 70 fish today, but like you're looking for the right ones. Some of these fish are just migrating, they're not gonna eat. They're, keep moving it away from them. Up, 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 up. That's the cadence. Tap, 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 tap. Two to three inch taps. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed him. Alright guys, so Darian and Zach are filming over in their tent for the Fishing OD channel. They've got a fish and they brought me the Mega Live. So they're using the live scope in their tent. They had brought both units and Darian said, hey, why don't you use the Mega Live for a little bit and see if you can get a fish on it. Seen a few fish come in, one super tanker. Got a set up right here, jigging in that one. That's where I had my flasher. And we got Jared over on this side. We got Jared right there. Sir. 
We're gonna get on them. It's a little bit slow, but. So yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty good morning. The current was really strong and uh, had a hard time picking up my jigs. I had to do a secondary hold just to be able to see my spoons and everything. But once I did that, I could see, but it was like those fish that were very active this morning, like chasing me up and I couldn't even see where my bait was on the flasher. Uh, I just could see that the fish were going up and down after it and couldn't exactly tell what to do and what cadence to have to seal the deal with those fish. But there seems to be a lot of fish around, still cruising. Yesterday we lost that giant fish. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nothing to do with it. Great find. Dude. So we just had one go through on the Mega Live. He was like inches off bottom. Looked like a pretty nice fish, but just screamed by. Like going along bottom, looked like he was gonna lift. Nope, kept going. But yeah, so we got the Mega Live in now. Take a little break from using the flasher. It's really nice to be able to see like fish behavior a little better. Uh, we had tried the underwater cam the first day and it's just so dark down 30 feet uh, you can't really see what's going on until you get that jig high up in the water column. So yeah, little midday update. Fish are here, looking for that big monster and uh, we're going to keep chugging along. One of us is going to get a big fish today. I'll, I'll take you guys over later and show you the fish that Darian and Zach got. Uh, I actually think it was Zach that caught it and uh, my clients got a nice one too, like low 20 inches, both of them, four pounders. And uh, right now we're gonna get back to fishing. I'm gonna pull my chair up and I'm gonna stare at this Mega Live until Darian comes to take it back. So let's hope we can get one on it. Toby or Cisco maybe? Yeah, the way he's moving. Huh? Got him. Little tulipy on the dinner bell. <laughs> Give it a little longer pause. There we go, a little tulipy. Not bad fish. Now what we want, a little bit of silver instead of gold. Oh, he shot back out. Figure it out, bud. Right on. Midday fish, not what we wanted. Still welcome. That's a better one. That one might hit 20. It's fat though. You can see how round he is. Oh, that scared him. He didn't fucking like that. Oh, right back there. Where you might turn around again. Yep, here he comes. Come on. How's it going, Jared? Not bad, not bad. Just uh, gonna start jigging for the, the, the evening bites about to start, so. How's our uh, day been so far? Pretty good. You know, we got that one big fish this morning and then uh, three smaller fish that we released. We also had a big fish come in on the Mega Live, which was really awesome to watch you know Andrew worked them up and down a couple of times and uh you know we just can't get them to commit right now but we ended up missing him he yeah. hit me he hit Jared on a jigging wrap took his minnow and then came over to me and uh we, we could watch him on the mega live and came over to me and then all of a sudden worked him on the rattle trap for a little bit and he bit it I missed him lost him tough so, afternoon but we're hopeful yeah the night all it took yesterday was two fish in 15 minutes to turn my day around. So that's what I'm hoping. Another two fish or more. We'll take more. Yeah. A big mama too. Yeah, a big one would be sweet. We're due. We've been seeing lots of big fish, but haven't got the right ones to commit other than the one that we lost yesterday. Yeah, we're spooking them. Yeah. Very spooky uh, today. So we got a new moon coming on Monday, so every day is supposed to get better from now on. So Jared's with me till tomorrow morning, so we're hoping tonight and tomorrow morning uh, we can get on them together. Put a big mama topside. Yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. We are trying to get a big one for you guys tonight. It's like 4 o'clock right now. The last couple days, it's been 5 p.m. that the bite started. So, evening bite's on its way. Gonna get back to jigging. I'm on my flasher now because Darian came and took his Mega Live back. But uh, that's okay. Flasher's good to go. And uh, big fish coming at you. He's coming. Nice. 
What a dinker. Easy. Easy. Spit my minnow head. Nice, chicken wrap, doing the trick. Good fights though, these ones are super aggressive. Thought it was a Cisco for a little bit or a, like a lake herring. Not a bad fish. See you later, buddy. So what I like to do guys is like, instead of trying to pinch it off right away is like, I'll put my minnow on like so. And then as he's on there, I just grab him behind the gills, pinch the body off. It's just a lot easier. I find he's not moving around. You're trying to pinch it off. Just squeeze him off there. And Quinty today. We're out on the bay. We got out here early in the dark again. Got all set up. No wind today, but blistering cold. It was like minus 33 when we walked out. It was really hard to get the cameras unfogged. I was a little bit late starting after I set up all the clients. It was probably 7:30 by the time I got in the tent. So it's like 8:30 now. Seen some fish. Haven't had any uh, bites yet, but had a few that were active and chasing, but just couldn't get the deal sealed. So. Rocking the True Grip from Frostbite right now, 38 medium, uh, paired with a big perch jigging wrap. And then on the second rod right here, I got a big buckshot and Fire Tiger tipped with just minnow heads. So the last, the first few days, the first two days actually, the buckshot seemed to be really get, getting the job done. But uh, the third afternoon into last night, um, Almost all of our fish were caught on jigging wraps, tipped with a little minnow tail or a minnow head underneath the jigging wrap on that treble hook. So day five today, hoping to get on some big fish. The good bite's coming, like I said, it's like 8.30 right now and I really enjoy that time of like 10 till two for big, big fish rolling through. So hopefully we can get on some. We got Zach and Darian from Fishing OD. Then I got two clients and I got buddies farther down from uh, my hometown of Deep River that are up this weekend as well. So hopefully we can all get on some. Hopefully we can get on some big fish finally. There's been some giant marks the last couple days. We've been marking lots of fish. We just need that right time to turn on and have the big school roll through and get some big double digits, 30 inch hopefully, monster walleye on the ice. I got a big one guys, big one. Really big one. Come, come, come. Come with the camera. It's not that big, it was hooked weird. All right guys, there we go. First one of the day. Not a bad fish, two and a half pounds maybe. Perfect eater. I already bonked him, so uh, dunk dunk. He kinda is already a little bit stiff. But we're gonna keep that one as an eater. And uh, seems to be fish rolling in. It was a little bit of a slow morning, the slowest of the five days I've been here so far. Uh, marked maybe a dozen fish, but everybody around me, my client on this side, they caught two and marked a bunch. Uh, my client over here seen, seen a few fish, hasn't hooked up. Darren and Zach from Fishing OD, they're next to me and they've had a bunch on the Mega Live and the Live Scope. Um, they've missed two for Darian and Zach missed one. And then I got a couple buddies from Deep River further down and uh, they got two, one guy and the other guy missed two. So good pods of fish, uh, kind of centered in a, between a bunch of tents. So that's why I think I'm getting a little bit less fish, but it doesn't really matter to me as long as other guys are getting fish around me. And uh, that was the first one of the day. So can only go up from here. I already caught a fish, so I'm super stoked. One fish a day in Quinty is like awesome. You know you're on them and big fish can come at any time. So we're gonna get back to jigging. Put that jig and wrap back down. Seems to be the ticket the last few days and uh, hopefully get on some more big fish. Guys, check that one out. He chewed the jigging wrap too. That is what we come to Quinty 
for? Nice, nice. Just choked it. Oh my God. That's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just using. Sick. He fought so good on the true grit. That's my biggest wall on that rod, dude. Guys, this rod is the real deal. Frostbite true grit, eh? You're shaking. Dude. <laughs> He came straight up with it, like he when he hit it, it was really good weight. Is my camera going? I don't even think I got it yep, on. Yeah, it's going. I don't know if I got the fight on camera or not, but you bump him yet? No. Seven. Twenty-seven. Eight pounder. Twenty-seven. Eight, eight pounder. Oh, beauty. Fatty. I just lost a good one. He hit me twice. Gorgeous, dude. Sick! So stoked, man. That was my biggest of the trip so far. Happy for you. <sighs> He's got a bigger one. Yes. A little bit of m and M's. m and and peanuts. Haven't seen much fish since that big fish. I've actually only seen one fish. And uh, Darian and Zach had that small fish and they said they just saw a few big marks roll through and they were coming to me, but they never came in. The fish are here though, the fish are here. We're just looking for them to turn on or the right school to come in that is on and wants to eat. Like we're having lunch. Want a peanut M&M? Oh, they stink. Bye. He liked the M&M. That's a good mark. My M&M is going by. Went right by him. There's two fish now. He's chasing my M&M down. Ah, zip. Let's see what the boys are doing. Hey. Hello. What are you eating? Mmm. My favorite. What's up, guys? You like our minnow pond? <laughs> when you don't got a minnow pail? It's even better, they get to swim freely. Dude, it is really spacious in here. It's beautiful, I love it. It's such a different setup than my otter. You know the fishing's slow when Andrew comes to your tent. I figured I'd come check in once so I could introduce you because I didn't really... <laughs> I've been talking about fishing OD and Zachary Salandino and Darian Savage. And they have no idea who we are. So I was like, I'll go and uh, say hi, show their setup. That's my camera. This was the light that we had going on earlier when it was dark. This is live scope. And we got Mega Live in the far left, which you saw already probably. Yeah, we're panning in an X right now so we can see the fish in front of us, behind us, and left and right. We just can't see our diagonals. That's too amazing. Well. Technology. They're looking that way. We caught the least amount of fish. That way. It's a bit sad, but we're gonna make up for it hopefully before the trip's done. Oh, yeah. So, how are our groups doing today? Uh, you guys got the one, right? And you've really missed. Like seven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and you've missed two. two and no, Zach no, missed yeah. one. Yeah, I missed the nice one. And I have two, and my clients had two the last time I checked in. And I'm going there after I see but you. Guys. Two earlier, and there's still two. I think so. Oh, I haven't talked to them since. Hopefully, it's better it's than uh, yesterday, though. Like ninety percent of the fish coming in, we're getting to like follow. Yep. Chase. Yeah, me too. Like this morning was really slow for me, but then uh, once like 10 o'clock hit, all those fish decided to eat. But now. Yeah, between 10 and 12, it <coughs> was really good. Or even between 10 and like 11, 11 30, it was yeah. really good. After that, it slowed down. Yeah, and just not having the big fish commit at all. Like they wouldn't follow. Hopefully, hopefully we change that though. Yeah. It's a lot better than yesterday though. Like yesterday at this time, we were having fish come in from like the extreme edges and they'd come in and turn around. Or they come in and just disappear. They wouldn't go anywhere near it. It's yeah. like yeah. avoiding them. It was a like way avoiding. tougher bite yesterday. Even this morning when I wasn't getting bites, the fish were way more fired up. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what it brings. Anyway, good luck, dude. Thanks. I don't need luck. I'm casting Conquer, baby. Come on, this is a nice mark. Oh, he hit it. He did hit it. He hit it. He hit it again. He's coming hard again. We got him. Little guy. 
Hi right, guys, number three of the day on the drench and the jig and wrap again. First smaller fish of the day here for me. I know uh, Darian and my clients in the tent behind me as well both had small fish about this size, uh, like 12 and a half to 15 inches. This guy's gonna be going back. He was not coming off. There we go. Number three. It's three o'clock. Fish are coming in. See you later, buddy. I think I got my lure back. I did. I caught my jigging wrap that I lost this morning, guys. That's amazing. There it is. Two jigging wraps. Caught it. Brought it back. All right, guys. So we're in the final moments right now of our day. Uh, it's been a pretty tough day all around. Uh, this morning's bite was pretty good. We had a little bit of a late start getting going. Uh, especially on my side with the camera gear and everything. But I did manage that really nice fish between 8 and 9 pounds, 27 inch. All my fish today were on the jigging wrap. I also had a 4 pounder and a small 15 incher. My clients in the tent beside us had a pair of 12 to 15 inch fish. Darian had a small fish and uh, the two guys I know had two small fish. So it seems like it was a little bit of a tough bite all around. Fish are here, marking them like crazy. Really cold today, stable weather coming the next two days. Little bit warmer temps. I'm hoping with this number of fish that are here that they're gonna fire up in the next couple days. We're really undecided if we're gonna go and try another spot tomorrow or if we're just gonna come back and sit on these fish and hopefully get the right fish to bite throughout our day. So it's like 5.30 right now. I've had a few marks in the last half hour or so. I'm actually having one right now. And uh, we have maybe 20 minutes left to fish. The best 20 minutes of the day and hopefully we can seal the deal on one or two small fish here. I feel like the big bite for the big fish is in the morning and early afternoon, and you just get a lot of eaters here in the evening. I have caught a few over the years, uh, nice fish, double digit fish, but uh, yeah, the majority of them are in the morning and not in the evening. So in my opinion, I think we'll have a few more small fish here. Hopefully see what we can do. If not, thanks for checking out this week's video, guys. Until next week. Be back out here tomorrow, hopefully getting on some more giant hog walleye.